Hi, you all. I ditched the hat. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this AC needs to kick in. <laughs> I found the VA no problem. And I went to do my return, did my return. Uh, oh my gosh. And I, I, you should be proud of me, y'all. I did good. I put a lot of things back. I was carrying around a whole bunch of things in my arms throughout the store. I just didn't thoroughly explore the store before. So, uh, recently anyway, since I started doing my bead business. So, of course, I had to go down every aisle, see what kind of stuff that they have, so I can, in the future, come back and purchase those items. Uh, I do know that their pony beads are low quality, unless they come in a kit for $20 or more, and they have the better quality beads. But the refillable ones, when you run out of a certain color, they sell, you know, a, a single color in like a pack of like 500 or 700 or something or a thousand, yeah. various amounts of like one single color. So you can replace that color. But you've got to be careful when you do that, if you do, because like, I have two sets of pastel colors. Some are the cheaper beads that are flimsier and thinner, and you can see the seam really good. Like the ones that I got there. Like once I opened up the first bag, I should have really just brought all the other ones back. Uh, but missing 16 year old kid, male blue F250, a seam called 911. Oh, shoot, son, there's an active uh, missing child investigation. or anything. 
I touch my face a lot. I purposely don't try to touch my face in the store. Oh my gosh. The fatigue is real. I'm serial, guys. <laughs> Look how much I'm yawning and like I just can't. Like this is how bad I get even if I'm at home doing nothing in the afternoon. Like this is the time frame that I usually start crashing. I crash and I uh, I keep rubbing my face it's going to get red right here. Uh, I need my makeup white so I can take all this makeup off. <laughs> Including this caked on old lipstick. This stuff does stay on and it stays on for days. Like it like tints my whole lips even after. I don't mind, it's just, <laughs> it looks blotchy and stuff as it wears off little by little. Oh, it hurts sitting forward in my back. Oh, I'm tired. So my arm ended up uh, pushing off at the nerve and the elbow, I think, in my uh, grocery store, or my grocery store, my store trip. As I held all the stuff in my arms, instead of just grabbing a cart or a basket to throw things in, I try to do that self, do that to myself on purpose. And I even had to check my checking account to make sure I don't overdraw myself with this purchase. Because today, I really, I've never seen them anywhere else. I, I have looked extensively over the last week and a half at all the craft stores. maybe last two weeks. I've been looking at every single section. I look at the, um, the button section because that has some awesome beads or buttons that I turn into beads. And then I always check the I always check the bead aisle and then I always check the pearler aisle and then I always check the um, clearance aisles especially and in the craft warehouse there's uh, clearance throughout the entire store section so I didn't quite know exactly where to go but I always hit up the clearance to see if there's any little TV thing on sale uh, like I got some I got four bear buttons that are cute like little teddy bears uh, shape and I bought those for 50 cents at Walmart I don't, I don't see the, an idea or design with these bears, but I'll make some with them. Uh, I can't pass up the price of 50 cents for four beads. I just, that's just, those beads packets usually go for like $3.50, $4, $5. It ranges um, between $3.50 and, and higher those uh, button packs, but they're making really, really cute buttons, and I don't see people wearing these buttons on clothes, but I'm definitely using these buttons in bracelets and necklaces, and so what I haven't been able to find very many, I can't, I've never seen this size of these types of, uh, what they're called, they're uh, pinch, 
straight up like thing right straight through the thing. And on this side it has a little loop. So it's reversible. I think this thing is missing the thing. And now let's do the other one. Yeah it is. That was broken. This is broken and it was returned. I don't care that was broken. It's still going to be functional no matter what. So basically that little uh, white loop thing it broke on that other one because that's how it's supposed to be a little white loop on each side of it. This one does not. Somebody just stuck the freaking loop thing back into it and they're just selling it for full, full clearance price. I should have actually if I would have noticed, I would have probably even like, hey, can I get that for 50 cents instead because it's broken? Even though it's functional, uh, hook, it, hook it up. I, let me save 50 cents wherever the F I can, please. So anyways, I got red and purple and pink and purple. I like the pink and purple one better, but there was only one pink and purple one and the rest of them were all red and purple. But I already have a couple of these, but they're in tie-dye colors. And the people at uh, in my EDC chat, they were like, ooh, we like those uh, by the one I already made. And I gave it to my friend. Alright, so, oh, why do you start with the pharmacy? Oh my gosh, I have no money for my freaking meds. <laughs> I still have a few days worth of it, so I'm gonna have to like, uh, I don't know. I don't know how much it is just for the one medication. I'm gonna have to do some math when I get home. I'll find some money. I have like all kinds of money in quarters and like, I think it's like under $10. It's really not that expensive. I'll find the cash. Uh, I just have to look for it now. But anyways, as I was talking about the topic, uh, I just didn't know what these were, like what do I call them, and what size do I need, like, it's hard when you're like getting started, you don't know the names and stuff, and these things are like almost essentially the same thing, but they don't have as much claw on them to grab onto stuff, I can even see those, yeah, I just like my so I got those and the other ones and these are like a little bit wider so these might work on some things that don't work on others and vice versa with this like maybe these will work on certain objects versus other ones no matter what I'm going to still secure it with some glue on top of it and then and these were also like $4.50 and like holy crap they really rip you off on the, the stuff. I think it's discouraging the jewelry makers to make their own things. But this one, this one was for sale for $2. So I'm like, well, let me try this version of it too. They're essentially almost the same thing as the last thing I showed you, but for like half off, but I'm a, a little bit more claw action on the end of it. Advice these ones where they don't have as much claw and they're more smooth when you gotta crimp it, it's supposed to like grab on like like a claw, you know. I just need it to have a little loop thing for the string and then a claw to grab onto whatever said object. You know, for instance, if this didn't have that loop thing on it, I would need to use one of these to grab onto it to give me a little bit of a loop to go through it with the string to hang it. So it's just these little things, these tips and tricks when it comes to uh, crafting, having just the right, right size for different objects and then having the glue, having the right string, uh, having the right length even. Uh, there's a lot of guys and a lot of things out there, but I've been making do fine with what I have, but it also has prevented me from making other projects of other things that I have at home, such as this, 
that, you know, I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to, like, wrap, you know, attach it with the string and the beads and stuff. This is practice, you know, experimentation, seeing what works the best. I don't know which claw thing hooks that I'm going to use the most, uh, which ones are going to be the most uh, beneficial to use. second later and uh what are those kids doing why are they pulling all those strings out jerks why are you destroying the freaking grass really dude you're just gonna do that what was the point of that why is he cutting it i don't know that makes me uh kind of want to like Dot, like turn around like watch him and see what the heck he's doing. I'm gonna make a video and be like, what's this dude doing? I don't know. Seems fishy to me. No, I'm not turning the camera around to show. No. I moved on. And I'm home and the AC is nice and cold on my face right now. It is in triple digits still. It's my temperature gauge on my dash is 102. At 4 p.m. I've been meaning to like try and get a hold of one of my friends that, you know, my friend that lives down on the river, but like I don't have the gas to drive anywhere to get cool. Like I really wish I could have gone to the coast today. That's where my mom and aunt went to go play bingo, but I'm broke so I don't have money for bingo, so I'm like, well, oh, that's not going to be any fun. Uh, the only thing I could have done is just uh, go hang out at the beach while they gambled, and, which I would have been fine with that too, but you know, I can only walk so much with so much energy. So I'm home guys, bye, keep smiling, peace out.